A North Texas father gets a nightmare phone call that his son was hurt and in trouble. It was a scam. But as Andrea Lucia reports, an awfully convincing one. Well, what Don Ferguson did not know was that his daughter, a student here in Saxe, had gotten a call first and unknowingly provided information being used against him. I was in class and I just froze and I, my eyes started tearing up. 16-year-old Riley Ferguson says the man on the phone claimed to be a paramedic. They had a young male who's in a fatal car accident and cannot be identified. She thought of her brother, gave the man his name, described him and told him what car he drove. She provided her father's name and number two. And he was like, sorry, that's not the guy that was in the accident. And he just hung up. The man immediately dialed on Ferguson to say his son was seriously injured in a crash. And my heart was just racing. I, I, I don't think my adrenaline's ever been that high, ever. The caller then changed his story, saying he had the teen hostage and wanted money. He told me that if, if I dropped this call, that he was going to kill my son. To Ferguson, it didn't make sense, but the caller seemed to know so much about his family. The panic took over. He tried calling his son from his desk phone. I can barely even dial. In fact, I have to hang up and start over. When I hear his voice, it's just like air out of me. The FBI warns the scam called a virtual kidnapping has become increasingly common. But it's tough to make arrests. The callers often use burner phones and may even be calling from outside the U.S. Apparently, nobody can track these people down. Uh, I don't know if anybody's trying. I think somebody needs to try. Yeah, one red flag the FBI pointed out, the call that you get for obvious reasons won't come from the cell phone belonging to the family member who has supposedly been kidnapped. But in this case, the family says it did appear to come from a local number. Reporting live in Saxe, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.